Located just northwest of Madison, surrounded by vast farmlands, lies the Speck Machine facilities in Middleton, Wisconsin. While Speck has been known for its automotive repair since 1997, its current project is completely out of the norm. It's here, behind these doors, that an important piece of railroading history is currently on track to full operation. Built by the American Locomotive Company in Schenectady, New York, Steam Locomotive Number 1385 rolled out of the factory in March of 1907, classified as an R-1 Class 10 wheel. With four pilot wheels and six drivers, each wheel being 63 inches in diameter, this locomotive was used for both freight and passenger service for the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad. The 1385 performed as a dual service locomotive all the way till its retirement in 1956, when diesel technology became a cheaper and more efficient alternative. Though tired and worn out, the locomotive was granted a new home and a new lease of life through the help of some caring and enthusiastic strangers. Uh, it was acquired by the, uh, the fledgling Mid-Continent Railway Historical Society. Actually, the, uh, uh, this name I could never quite remember was in Milwaukee, Milwaukee Light Engineering Society, I believe. But a, a group in 1961 in the Milwaukee area, was, a historical society was formed. Um, and this engine was bought at scrap value from the Chicago Northwestern and then shipped to Hillsboro, Wisconsin. Hillsboro is where Midcontinent first ran. We ran in 1962 for one year at Hillsboro. And then the rail line at North Freedom came up, became available in 1963. So the society bought that rail line and we've owned that four miles of rail since 1963 and have been running there ever since. The, amongst other equipment, the, the 1385 was shipped to North Freedom in 63 and ran, ran that season, but it was very, very tired, <laughs> along with the tender. Uh, in the early 70s, uh, an effort was made to put the engine back together. It was restored to service, and then another tender was purchased and paired up with the engine so she could run, and she was used on and off by the museum until the early 80s. In the early 80s, uh, one of the board members uh, worked with the Chicago Northwestern Railway, and in 1982 and 1983, she was repaired and rebuilt by the Northwestern to be used uh, in the Northwestern's prosperity specials, and she also made runs to uh, Boone, Iowa for their puffer billy days for a couple of years. Uh, the engine was used on the, the Great Circus Train in the early, early 1980s, and in 1998, Time finally caught up with her again. It was time to uh, do some federally mandated inspections on the boiler, and uh, repairs were were outlined. And as we did the inspections and looking at the repairs needed, we found more and more and more things needed to be repaired because it, because the engine was was very tired. So on and off from 1998, the engine has has been the object of of uh, repair efforts, and then. 
in 2011, uh, Dick Wagner of the Wagner Foundation, who had been had been aware of the museum for quite a number of years, uh, they decided that uh, a steam engine was something that they that they wanted to be part of rebuilding. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Dick passed away very shortly after that, but the Wagner Foundation offered a $250,000 matching grant, which means they would post $250,000 if we could raise $250,000. And we actually made that match this last December. So we, we have matched, matched that money, and that's a portion of, of what uh, we've needed to continue with, with the restoration so far. During the weekend of February 15th and 16th, 2014, an open house was organized at the facility by the Mid-Continent Railway Museum and Spec Machines. It's here that the public can get an in-depth look at the progress of the 1385 and to fully understand the type of work required to return the locomotive to operating condition. In the last year, we have rebuilt the, the tender tank, which is the, the water and fuel storage for the engine while, it, while it's running. We have had a new tender tank built by DRM Industries at Lake Delton, and that has, since it's been finished, it's been shipped back to North Freedom, to the museum there, and that's currently on display uh, on our platform. Uh, in, in October, the frame here came to Spec Machine here in Middleton, and has undergone cleaning and disassembly, sandblasting, and now we're in the inspection phase to find out how far we have to go, because we are going to make no assumptions. The only assumption we're going to make is everything's worn out, and if something's not completely worn out, we'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> we're going to have a brand new boiler built. That is being handled at Deltac Industries in Plymouth, Minnesota. Uh, Plymouth is, is one of the Twin Cities suburbs. We have, we have the great advantage of almost all of the drawings for the R1 class were saved as the North, Chicago Northwestern was throwing them out. So they're now property of uh, Lake States Histor Historical Society, and we've been able to get copies of these drawings through Lake States. And that tells us what, at least what the engineers intended for things to be. Uh, we also have spent uh, many, many hours uh, making measurements on the boiler itself. So there's the difference between what the drawings say and what actually was built. And drawing, putting those together and going to come up with a 3D CAD drawing of the boiler so the boiler can be built. The cab for the engine uh, is being, uh, is currently being assembled at uh, CJ Woodworking in Fond du Lac. And, and again, the prints that we have, the Chicago, original Chicago Northwestern prints, that, copies that we have, that is the blueprint for, for the, uh, what the cab is going to be. As I said, the, the tender was done at DRM Industries in Lake Delton. The air compressors may be sent to uh, um, uh, Bernie Watts, who is a, a contractor in, out in uh, Colorado who specializes in air compressors and uh, turbo generators and lubricators, so he, he may be doing those, we're not completely sure. The wheels themselves, the drive wheels, are going to either be sent to Chattanooga, Tennessee, or to Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Those are the two places left in the U.S. that have wheel lathes designed for steam locomotive work. So those, it's going to go to one of those two places. As we, as we find vendors who will, who will do some of the things that needed, um, we're, there are some pieces that we're going to have to be, have recast. So we, we've got to find the foundry, also have to find a, a way to get patterns made, either, either use the original pieces as patterns or, or try to get patterns produced so then we can get some of the replacement castings made. That's part of the, part of the fun, part of the continual search. So, and we'll, we'll go wherever those vendors are. Though it may seem like everything is all in place for the remainder of the locomotives we build, the Mid-Continent Railway Museum is always open to continuous support for the project, especially from the general public. The question is, 
How can one show their support for not only the 1385, but for the entire museum as well? Well, the, 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 sim the, simplest, the simplest answer is to join Mid-Continent Railway Historical Society. Or, it, and you can volunteer, you can volunteer time, you can volunteer money. The, those, 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 two, those two things are, are vital to, to keep, uh, to keep the, the engine and to keep the society running. You, you can volunteer expertise. Um, you know, we, we have, we are a business. We're a 501c3 non-stock, non-profit educational corporation within the state of Wisconsin. A little bit of spiel there. I get too much practice from being conductor on the train. But as a, as a, a, a non-profit, and any, any donations that are made to us are, uh, are tax deductible. But uh, we also, our a big part of our mission statement is education. We want to teach people how to maintain these machines so we'll be able to, to uh, enjoy them when we're too old to do it. But it's to teach people the experience of railroading. One, one of the, you know, another part of our mission statement is to operate a demonstration railroad demonstrating turn of the last century short line railroad. There are many, many, many ways. Um, and if nothing else, Tell someone else about it. That helps us too. For more information on the rebuild of the Chicago and Northwestern 1385, or to help contribute to the project, visit the Midcontinent Railway Museum's website at www.midcontinent.org.